Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is worship. We'll return with the devotion after a brief message from one of our sponsors. Hey friend, do you ever feel like the busyness of life makes it hard to slow down and truly connect with Jesus? Do your priorities and passions feel jumbled and out of whack? Then join me this summer on my podcast, How to Study the Bible, as we dive into Spiritual Rhythms, a six-week series that will lead us through six spiritual rhythms to help us slow down and make space for Jesus in the busyness of everyday life. To guide us, I've put together a free downloadable six-week study available at nicoleunis.com slash spiritual practices. The study will walk us through God's word as we learn to embrace daily practices that draw us closer to Jesus. Each week on the podcast, we'll walk through one spiritual rhythm that helps us discover how to spend intentional time with God, align our passions and balance our priorities, and make time and space for restfulness and celebration. Download Spiritual Rhythms for free today at nicoleunis.com slash spiritual practices, and I'll see you on how to say the Bible. The Historical Jesus Podcast is the sweeping saga of the life and times of Galilean Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the faith, religion, and church founded to honor and disseminate his acts and teachings. Join me, Mark Vinette, on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the many great works of Christian theology, literature, architecture, music, and art inspired by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ. Renew Your Heart of Worship Written and read by Jessica Van Roekel Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was above the people, and as he opened it, all the people stood. And Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people answered, Amen, Amen, lifting up their hands. And they bowed their heads and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Nehemiah 8, 5-6 Will you stand with me? Is a question I ask my congregation each week. They rise and the band begins to play. Our voices join as one to worship God. I've been a worship leader for several years, and I'm always amazed every week how God meets us right where we are at. We might be dealing with frustrating circumstances or excruciating disappointments, but God meets us in the middle of it all. When we enter His presence with word and song, and through the lifting up of our hands, two things happen. Love and adoration for God stirs in our hearts and He inhabits our praise. With platform ministry comes the risk of personal ambitions vying for central focus. Congregations can set those on the stage on a pedestal and forget that worship leaders are just like them, with their own trials and internal battles. We can lose sight of true worship. The English word for worship comes from the Old English word Worthship. This word describes actions and attitudes that honor worthiness. God is worthy of our praise and adoration. True worship is God centered, not human centered. Our focus needs to be on who God is and his attributes. Some of those are faithfulness, omnipresent, eternal, unchangeable, compassionate, merciful, and patient. We worship Him when we know and confess that God is the only Lord in our life. When we engage in God-centered worship through singing songs that remind us of who He is, we become equipped to face our difficulties with robust faith. God-centered worship helps us grow in our spiritual walk because it centers our heart on what is true about God. This is important because the cares of life can choke out what we know to be true about him because they loom large in our path. The book of Nehemiah chronicles the rebuilding of Jerusalem's walls and the returning of the people's hearts to the Lord. Ezra stood before the people on a wooden platform and opened the book of the law before them. 
Revival began with a renewed desire for God's Word and a serious effort to understand it. The people responded with lifted hands and bowed heads. God longs for us to express our deep love to Him with regular times of worship. Two key principles help direct it. John 4.23 tells us that true worshipers will worship in spirit and in truth. God's main concern is with our heart. True worship comes from a heart that agrees with all that he is and chooses to live in obedience to him. It reflects godly character traits and reveals a deep inner devotion to him. We can worship God when we praise him. God provides different expressions of how to praise him throughout the Old and New Testament. It can be lifting of hands, shouting, singing, and confession of sin. When Ezra and Nehemiah realized how the people had neglected God's word, they led the entire community in a passionate prayer of confession. Prayer is another important aspect of worship. We can pray publicly, privately, personally, or intercede for others. Worship also includes the public reading of God's word and preaching its truth. Practical explanation and application of God's word to our lives is an act of worship. One of the most beautiful aspects of a renewed heart of worship is the community it creates within a body of believers. When we gather for a service, we come from different journeys and levels of personal difficulties. These can distract us and serve to pull us away from intimacy with God. One of the ways we can combat this is through worshiping together. There is power when we collectively lift our voices in songs that remind us of who God is and what he can do. Intersecting Faith and Life Challenges can fill our lives and chip away at our faith. Often we drift away from God through times of doubt, fear, and disappointments. But if we can refocus on God's word and desire to know him better, we renew a heart of worship. Whatever you find yourself facing today, pause and acknowledge God. Lift your hands to show you trust in him and bow your head to humble your heart. He longs to meet you right where you are. Come to him today. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Scripture and brain science agree. Meditating on God's Word transforms us and reduces stress in our lives. I'm Jody Nisnik, host of So Much More, Creating Space for God, a scripture meditation podcast. And each week I give you space to hear God's Word, listen to the Spirit, and pray about what's on your heart. And then we have a thoughtful conversation with guests to help us go deeper. Listen and subscribe at lifeaudio.com.